The attorney general called Sunday's ruling disappointing, but he says pandemic or not, he will continue to do his job to uphold the Constitution. The Supreme Court, the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals, uh, the district courts here in this country uh, have made mention of the fact that even in the midst of a pandemic, uh, our constitutional rights uh, cannot be suspended, nor can they take long or prolonged uh, sleeps. Attorney General Daniel Cameron is hoping that will be the case when the nation's highest court takes up this latest appeal. It comes after the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals sided with Governor Bashir, upholding his order that prohibits in-person classes at all schools in the Commonwealth, including private and religious schools. The First Amendment exercise of religion is at play in this particular case as it relates to religiously affiliated schools. Uh, and it's my responsibility as the Attorney General to stand up for those rights uh, that parents and kids uh, all across the Commonwealth uh, try to exercise daily. Bashir responded to the ruling saying in part, while we all want to get our kids back to in-person instruction, the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit recognized that doing so now would endanger the health and lives of Kentucky children, educators, and families. All of these schools uh, that are a part of the litigation here as it relates to defending the constitutional rights of our citizens have taken great pains uh, and great care to keep their students safe. According to Cameron, Danville Christian Academy, one of the schools named in the court challenge, has spent $30,000 on technology to keep students safe and should be allowed to hold in-person classes as long as they adhere to the latest CDC guidance. Danville Christian, uh, other uh, private religiously affiliated schools just want the ability to be able to do that in the same way uh, that we've said to retail stores or that we've said uh, to movie theaters that they can have individuals in their establishments. Drew Gardner, WLKY News.